Yes, Joe again, and welcome back to Neo 2, where we are still in the second main mission of the Shadow Region, Corpses and Ice. And now, I think we can just straight up run through here to the door. Oh. Hey, you! Okay. Now it's up to you, now attacker. Okay. Now attacker. Isn't now. Wasn't that also. We just fought a named guy. Ah, and we get a shrine here. Yeah. yeah, it was. In the last uh, episode, I was kind of afraid that that guy would be. Uh, uh, that that arena would be the end of the mission, but it wasn't. Ah, Kodama. Six out of eight. Okay, this leads me to a lower path. Oh god, no. I remember those guys. Have we fought them in this game already? Can you please stop? So that I can shoot at you? No. Okay. I remember this. these guys to be hard enemies. Some yokai is speaking. As I said, hard enemies. Ow! Oh, I don't remember that. Okay, but we managed to just take that. They're just not normal. Even Lord Tadakatsu is in for a fight. Mm, I expected it would be cold, but I never imagined this. This is no season for snow. This will not be easy to get through. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'll go to the guy down here. Summon a scanner. Good. We can still backstab them. Just doing less. No! Are you fucking kidding me? I walked straight backwards. How is straight backwards after going straight forwards a death trap? That is kind of bullshit. Did the big guy respawn? Yes. I want to get rid of the ranged guy here. Don't fall down. Fuck. Used the wrong one. Someone aggroed while I was... What? What gave you permission to aggro around the corner, asshole? Can I get my attack off? Huh. 
How? How? How did that do 10 times damage? Like there were 10 damage instances. the same path again since that's the one where we don't fall down hopefully hopefully not again Oh god, I almost fell off again. And all that for fire amulet and some random armor. Great. I mean, fire amulets will be helpful in this. Okay, here we are. This will be a shortcut later. For which we have to dispel a demon realm. Okay, then this way. I see place. Oh god. Why is there an item on the ground? Probably destroyed some rubber during that. Ah, the other side of that same bridge we saw before. Enemy. No, Kodama, on the bottom of this. <coughs> Where does that lead? And is this the intended way there? request assistance for that. That chest will not be openable, yes. That guy didn't care about his friends. Got two of them up there. That's the face, you fucker. That's the face again, you fucker. Yeah. 
what is that? Ouch. 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 That snow? Wow, that snow effect is kind of going crazy if you go if you if you have like the, the right rank angle to it. Oh these were Gaki. Oh the ice I see that ice crystal and I see it is connected to other stuff do i break the ice or do i i don't remember how it worked do i break the ice and then the connected creatures die Like those crystals that have connections to uh, to enemies. Do I break the ice and then the connected enemies die? Or do I uh, kill the, the enemies and then the ice dies? That was the question I had. It was answered by now. Oh, another one. How are there two of them in here? I don't care for them. But they make sounds so that I always think like, oh... That's uh that's one of my Kodama friends. Okay, then let's go the upper way. I assume there was an enemy in here that died when we destroyed the crystal. Kodama. Seven out of eight. We kind of have to go for that lower one now. This is cloth. I can go that way. If I want to. Sometimes they're not paying. Wow. Also, that guy won't. He will only lose the helmet, yeah. It's never this. Yeah, it's the wrong button. ring wait let's let's first look around because we need to have a connection to this side yes A 
Hey friend, could you please die so that I can summon one that is not <laughs> almost death? Heavy, I can't breathe? That's a weird thing for the soul of that slime to say. Okay, that's the item I saw from above. Yeah, look how high up that was. That was good judgment to just not drop because I think that's enough to kill me. So, how do I get rid of Ultima Keeper? <clears throat> I mean, we need to go back to the shrine regardless because uh, I will not fight. it. Like, like, I throw away my chance at... Let's say one-shotting the boss. That's, that's how I usually call it. Like, at doing the boss first try. If... Uh, if I have a complete weak summon with me, but no magic. So let's go back to the shrine. Is that sent? No, that did. That did refill the lower bar. I still don't get the bars on the on the things. Uh, sub menu. There was a sub menu. I cannot send them away. What is this shenanigans? Whatever. We run past you. And wait you for you to kill that guy. Can you kill that Ultima Keep? He healed! Okay. Now why you're using your elixir? That's fine with me. Okay, boss fight time. We need to drop into the arena. Some ice guy. What an asshole move! Master Hanzo, lead these fiends to me. Understood. So that's the guy we're fighting. Nope, that's the guy we're fighting. That is Iyasu there. Young Iyasu. One with the with the light in the middle. Wasn't it not a stack? Trying to see which character that is, but wait, has been waiting for him. Gara now Taka. Okay.
you put that and this. Hurt you. And this. And this. This. You're slow, man. Stamina. <gasps> you ignore every game thing. He was devigorated. I just wanted to pull that out. He was fucking devigorated. Okay, uh, burst attacks <laughs> is what we have to learn about again. <sighs> okay. So this time, no skedaddling, direct jumping in. So that we don't get hit in the back by that spear guy again. Or oh, that automatic collection of stuff in boss fight is so good. Okay, he is so resistant against my element. That's crazy. Like to know what his weak point is. Pretty certain I don't know. I mean I tried to do that. Should probably try to block some of those. Shit. Bullshit. And you stop hitting me. Although you're not even aiming for me perfectly. Just shit. Just wild lost your guy. I pressed up right. Ow, I was out of reach of that asshole. Huh? Okay. Of course that has a range to take. Yes, do more damage with one attack. That is not even burst controllable.
Oh yes, um, insult fists. Interesting. He was using not fists, <laughs> but whatever. I am grateful for your aid. I vow that I shall repay you for it. Now that Makara has fallen, we must defeat the Azai and Asakura. The Tokugawa forces must regroup and march into battle once more. And let's go into battle. What a victory! We did it! And you taking out Magara Naotaka really helped swing the battle in our favor. The Tokugawa General Honda Takakatsu. Honda. It was Honda. The stack guy was like with a, with the stack antlers on the helmet was Honda. I'm pretty certain he was using a bear, not a stack, as his spirit animal in the end. But I mean that's 30 day, uh, years from now, I think. <clears throat> But it's pretty clear the Azai weren't fighting fair, they were using spirit stones, as were we. I mean, how else could they fight with yokai like that? And that monstrous form Magara Naotaka took? But how? Well, maybe not. now it's not the time for this. Lord Nobunaga wants to keep this momentum going and make a push on Azai Nagamasa's stronghold, Ujani Castle. Let's go, Hidi. Lady Oichi is bound to be there. Okay, no new Twilight missions. Why do we ha do you have to clear two missions for the Twilight missions? Since when? Okay, they they've changed quite a lot apparently. Okay, the tiger approaches for sixty nine. Okay. Okay. The brothers blades. For 69 as well as the shadows duty which is blocked by the shadows approach for 70 lingering snow and crimson crimson tracks for 68 that's our next mission horns in hand dragonfly in hand for 71 as the last thing okay we got a lot of missions a lot of them locked do we have a shadows duty between them here a shadows duty is here and then the fawn star. We got a lot of missions to go. First, let's see. This one is always completely useless because it's just we can watch the cutscenes again there. Magara Naosumi. Never saw you. As the younger brother of the famed warrior Magara Naotaka, and like his brother, he boasts near superhuman strength. At the Battle of Anegawa, he fought bravely alongside his brother and his nephew Takamoto against the Tokugawa forces. Yeah, those were the two, we had, we had like two bigger Odachi guys that we fought. Magara Takamoto is the son of the famed warrior Magara Naotaka and like his father he boasts near superhuman strength. He fought alongside his father and uncle at the Battle of Anegawa and upon hearing of his father's death he rode his horse straight into the ranks of the Tokugawa forces, fighting courageously against overwhelming odds until he was finally fed. <laughs> Didn't I kill him in that one building last episode? There's new stuff somewhere. Magara Naotaka, a retainer of the Asakura clan. We can learn more about them. Interesting. Famed as a general of unparalleled ferocity, he wields an enormous odachi known as Tarotachi that measures no less than 160 centimeters in length, which he swings as if it, as if it weighs next to nothing. Those swords are super heavy. We have had like a, a hunk of a chunk of steel in hand that is that big, you know, those are super heavy. At the Battle of Anegawa, he mounts a solo raid on the Tokugawa forces, pl plunging into the serried ranks of his enemies, reaching the 8th line of a 12th line defense. The real reason for Naotaka's extraordinary display of ferocity at Anegawa is that in order to demonstrate his, fe his fealty to his master, he has made use of spirit stones to become a yokai. He is on the verge of defeating Honda Tadakatsu, one of Tokugawa clan's mightiest generals, when the protagonist intervenes, turning the tables and striking Naotaka down. Honda. We know who Honda is. My god. 
That's a lot of information. Is one of Tokugawa's Iyasu's most loyal generals. Yeah, he he would stay to him until the end. Also goes by the name goes by the name Heihachiro. <clears throat> and yeah. We know him from the last game. Okay, another one. Hataru. Yeah, we saw Hanzo. Yes. Uh, that was the ninja teacher in the first game. He has white hair already? How has he white hair already? I fought him like 40 years from now and he was super fast then still. Ah. The name Hanzo is one that is passed down the generations to the leader of the Iga clan. This could be Hanzo's father. Highly skilled with a spear, he's known as the demon Hanzo. I assume this is another Hanzo then. He has the same armor. Is that... I mean, he has the same face and hair as in the first game. I'm pretty certain of that. Like the white hair. Maybe this is just the one that was clan leader before the Hanzo we met in the next in, in the early in the in the next logical game, which is the last game. Okay, we learned stuff probably about. Oh, yeah, we didn't have a boss enemy here, so only Namahages. Look at them. What else? We shouldn't have learned anything about anybody else, so... What's going on here? Yeah... Fire demons. Only be are fire demons, we know. Still not. What? Now I went around one time. What the fuck is wrong with you, game? Why are you saying that we have to, to look at something here? Why is this not marked? Yes, I've seen it. I've seen you! I've seen you! I've seen you, you fucker! Okay, from now on, Yokai illustrations will be bugged forever. Thank you, game. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm doing my menuing and we're seeing us tomorrow with Lingering Snow and Crimson Tracks. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.